You might already know that crickets have way more protein than a normal meat. Roughly 70 grams of protein per 100 grams of crickets compares to about 30 grams in your chicken breast or a slightly lower amount in your beef steak. You might also know that edible insects can be grounded up and used as flour. That means that it can be used instead of corn or wheat in many foods. So it's 1 to 0 for insects. But what you don't know is how 2050 is gonna look like when insect farming gets out of hand. <coughs> Whew, scary shit. Anyways, there already are high-tech companies like Insect in the EU, which farms mealworms and makes all sorts of stuff out of it, from human food to feed for fish and pets to plant fertilizer. Let's hear what Robert Downey Jr. thinks about it. It is... the, the Okay. This is a powder derived from the mealworm, and it's a insect protein. The making of it is severely reducing the, the amount of emissions it takes. It is, it is a innovation just in we're doing something incorrectly if we make this switch it's a huge huge uh, intervention he knows what's up the cool thing is that when you are farming insects you can use literally everything they produce for example if you harvest the oil from them not only can it serve as a healthy ingredient in animal feed but scientists have already synthesized biofuel from it and do you know what is biofuel also made from? Corn. Even though insects might produce biofuel much more sustainably than corn can, if we were to assume that they were fed with organic waste, I'm gonna count this as a tie, so it's 2 to 1 for insects. This feels like I'm trying to prove that humans can live only off of insects. Whatever, I'm gonna double down on that. To compare it to conventional meat once more, no zoonotic diseases can be spread from insects to humans. They require less feed for the same amount of produce. And way less water. They also produce fewer GHG emissions. And to top it off, insects need way less land. Now, don't get me wrong, insects, even the edible ones, can spread diseases. But that's why there are strict regulations regarding the farming facilities as is the case with any food grade factory. Anyways, if you've made it this far, then check out this podcast episode where I dive deep into insect farming with Lauren Tarano, who is surprisingly an insect farmer. And also, be sure to subscribe to my channel to get interesting videos more often. Thanks for watching. <laughs>